Assalamu alaikum. Invite endless blessings into your home. Please subscribe now. The button below. InshaAllah. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem. Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. Ati Allah, Ati Rasulullah. Amri minkum. And a reminder for myself on Abdul Ajisu, Da'ifu, Miskinu, Zalim, Jahal. And by the grace of Allah that we are still in existence. And the holy ninth of Arba'een and the realities of Imam al Hussein is salam that come bringing the Muhammadan heart on this earth and its immense treasures, immense realities that this is the oceans of Al Hayat and the reality of a heavenly kingdom that the gate. That's why if you take notes it's much easier to understand because we throw all these different numbers and understandings out for someone who listens is completely lost. But that's okay because you can watch the video and write it down. This heavenly kingdom and its sultanat and its secret is in the nine and that represents the king and the kingdom. The 18th month opens the the second month and the reality of 18 opens and Allah describes that there'll be eight that hold the throne of one and in many traditions the importance of of eight and one and we are stamped in our right hand with eight in arabic and one and it's about the sultanat that our life is to serve the One. One is Allah and Allah's reflection is the Sultanate of Sayyidina Muhammad for there must be a physical uh, a creation representing that Sultanate. That Allah can never be seen but Allah's signs are everywhere. And that kingdom of Sayyidina Muhammad is then we are stamped with it, we are asking to be dressed by it. These knowledges are taking us into that Muhammadan kingdom, into that heart of the Divinely Presence where they're teaching that the 18 is the ocean of Al Hayat. But one in eight in itself, it shows plainly that your life is to be from the eight, that its entire life is to uphold and hold the Sultanat of Sayyidina Muhammad means spreading the love, spreading the good character, spreading the best of examples. If it's the king we love then spread the good news of that kingdom, the good character and the good example so that the king's gaze and, and nazar and vision to be upon us, rida and satisfaction to be dressed upon us. When they searched for the fountain of youth that was at one level of searching. What Imam al Husayn salam brought of this reality and its dress upon this earth was the Kawthar oceans of paradise that bringing from the inheritance of Ashab and Nabi the holy companions, bringing from the family inheritance of Sayyidina Muhammad is what he gives to his family. It's not comparable to what he gives to his holy companions. Each has its own reality. Anyone who accompanies a shaykh knows that the student is one thing and the family is something completely different. No different for Sayyidina Muhammad He has an inheritance for his family members and he has an inheritance for the companions. Imam al Husayn salam brings from this reality and the ocean of that reality to be the symbol of when Allah described, Inna atainnaka al kawthar fasalli li rabbika wanhar. That we have given you this reality of the kawthar. That from you and your companions and your Ahlul Bayt, they will be the example and walking Holy Qur'an that they pray unto their Lord and they live a life of sacrifice. And their whole lives are an example of the Kawthar. 
as a result of, of the family and the way in which Imam al Hussein gave his life, gave the life of his family, put himself into harm's way, faced his faith no matter what that faith was and, and only relying upon Allah that if Allah wants something to happen, I submit to whatever Allah wants. If Allah doesn't want it to happen then Allah will defend me. And whatever Allah wanted to happen took place. But as a result of an immense wisdom, it laid the foundation of the Kawthari realities flowing upon this earth. That that became an example of the ocean of Kawthar, the ocean of realities. That anyone who loves them, respects them, sheds one tear for the story of that sacrifice, Imam al Hussein begin to intercede for them, guard them, watch them. Because Prophet's words immensely true that you be with whom you love. When you hear the story of, of these holy souls and how they sacrificed, how they were treated in, in such a brutal way by the people of their own faith. So then why are people shocked and something happens in their home or something happens within their community and then they want to leave and say, oh I'm just leaving everything, you know, I'm leaving the whole community. Why? Imam al Hussein describes, oh this was my life. I wasn't hurt by Jewish people, I wasn't hurt by Christian people, I was hurt only by my own people and I persevered. And it is whatever Allah wants because it's not about victory or who did right and who did wrong, it's about me submitting to the will of Allah So they became walking examples of the kawthar, inna tayna kal kawthar. It was a vow to Prophet that, we gave your nation a kawthar, a kathir, an abundance, not beyond anyone's imagination what they could imagine. Why? Because these souls that will be coming, the way in which they submitted, anything they ask from Allah is accepted. Means their soul is a fountain of kawthar on, on this earth. If you want to drink from the soul and the reality of Imam al Hussein's light and his kawthar realities, shed a tear for him. Listen to the story, listen to how they sacrificed, listen to how badly they were abused and then you think to yourself, Ya Rabbi Umma Gosh, if this happens to me, to my children and to my loved ones, that have pity upon me, have mercy upon me and it establishes this immense love that as soon as your tear begins to flow, the intercession of Imam al Hussein begins to flow towards you. That that tear is a sign that you cried for them that you showed a love for them because this tear has to come from a heart. And when the heart has that type of love and, and is connecting, they say, you can tell a stranger the story of Imam al Hussein and they begin to cry. Because injustice is injustice, bad is bad, it doesn't have to be based on anybody's background. And as soon as they cry, they gain the access into the heart and intercession of Imam al Hussein and then brings that kawthar reality upon this earth for people to drink from it. How? By loving them, by remembering their example, by, by coming closer to the Ahlul Bayt, loving and, and making the nasheeds and the praisings and understanding the holy companions, their struggle, their life and the way in which they, they loved and sacrificed themselves for Sayyidina Muhammad and they all become an example of the kawthar for us. By remembering their lives they're drawing us now into the Muhammadan heart. When Nabi Musa was asking for where the two rivers meet, only Allah come and begin to teach that when Imam al Hussein begin to dress us and bless us from the reality, he takes us to where the real two rivers of Qabu Qawsaini O Adana where the two bow lengths or near where Sayyidina Muhammad went for a mirage into the Divinely Presence and the reality of a soul being uplifted into those oceans of reality, the oceans of light 
and by two bow lengths or nearer was in the presence of the Divinely Presence. Means where La Hindullah, where Muhammadun Rasulullah begins to approach the reality of La ilaha illallah. And O Adana means two bow lengths or nearer. Because of the adab, they don't say it's one because la sharik. But when Muhammadun Rasulullah and the soul of Prophet is on a mirage moving into that reality, then la illallah and its proximity, the who is in the middle. And the ocean and the reality of who becomes this ocean and this secret of who. And by the love of Imam Al Husayn, the love of Ahlul Bayt immediately shoot us up into where the two rivers don't meet. Where the two rivers, where Nabi Musa said, where the two rivers meet, they want to meet at that who and the reality and the dress of that who to be blessed and to be dressed by those lights. InshaAllah we pray that Allah dress us from their love and bless us from their love by remembering their sacrifice that they intercede for us and bring us into that ocean of reality that Nabi Musa wanted, that all Prophets wanted, that all creation wants to be dressed from that light and to be dressed from the Holy Kawthar. That Allah dress us and bless us from the Holy Kawthar to take every type of difficulty away and to cut away every type of shaitan that approaching towards us to destroy the belief and to destroy the good character inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa basiri surat al-Fatiha. Click the link now to subscribe.